Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Tuesday that the first battles with North Korean soldiers open a new page of instability in the world. Speaking in his nightly video address, Zelensky thanked everyone in the world who reacted to the deployment of North Korean soldiers in Russia. Together with the world, we must do everything to make this Russian step to expand the war, to really escalate it, to make this step a failure, added Zelensky. Ukrainian troops have for the first time engaged with North Korean units that were recently deployed to help Russia in the war with its neighbor, Ukraine's defense minister said Tuesday. Another Kiev official said Ukraine's army fired artillery at North Korean soldiers in Russia's Kursk border region. The comments were the first official reports that Ukrainian and North Korean forces have engaged in combat, following a deployment that has given the war a new complexion as it approaches its 1,000-day milestone. Neither claim could be independently confirmed. The Ukrainian and North Korean troops engaged in small-scale fighting that amounted to the start of Pyongyang's direct involvement in Europe's biggest conflict since World War II, Ukraine's defense minister Rustam Yumarov told South Korea's public broadcaster KBS in an interview. North Korean soldiers are mixed with Russian troops and are misidentified on their uniforms, Yumarov was quoted as saying by KBS. That makes it hard to say whether there were any North Korean casualties, he said. Yumarov reportedly said he expects that five North Korean units, each consisting of about 3,000 soldiers, will be deployed to the Kursk area. Meanwhile, Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the counter-disinformation branch of Ukraine's Security Council, said, the first North Korean troops have already been shelled, in the Kursk region. He provided no further details. Western governments had expected that the North Korean soldiers would be sent to Russia's Kursk border region, where a three-month-old incursion by the Ukrainian army is the first occupation of Russian territory since World War II and has embarrassed the Kremlin. U.S., South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence assessments say up to 12,000 North Korean combat troops are being sent by Pyongyang to the war under a pact with Moscow. I want to thank everyone in the world who reacted на появу в Росії північнокорейських солдатів і хто відреагував не тільки словами, але й готує через це відповідні дії на підтримку нашого захисту тут в Україні. Терор, на жаль, може поширюватись як вірус, коли не зустрічають достатньої протидії. Зараз протидія має стати достатньою. Першими боями з північнокорейськими солдатами Відкривається нова сторінка нестабільності у світі. Ми маємо разом зі світом зробити все, щоб цей російський крок на розширення війни, на справжню ескалацію, щоб цей його крок став програшним. І для нього, і для Північної Кореї. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Monday that military intelligence is seeing an increase in North Koreans but, unfortunately, not an increase in our partner's response. Speaking in his nightly video address Zelensky said, there are already 11,000 of them in the Kursk region. He also congratulated Maya Sandu on winning the Moldovan election. And, in general, on the fact that Moldova's commitment to true sovereignty has stood the test. Вже три місяці наших активних дій на Курщині незабаром. І це важливо. Тримаємо цю санітарну зону у визначених районах поблизу нашого державного кордону. І маємо цінувати значення цієї операції. Курської операції. Для поповнення нашого обміну ОФУ. Це дуже допомогло звільненню наших людей з російського полону. Була сьогодні також окрема доповідь ГУР та Служби зовнішньої розвідки. Щодо північно-корейських військових на території Росії вже 11 тисяч в Курській області. Ми бачимо збільшення північного корейців і не бачимо збільшення реакції партнерів. Говорив з президенткою Молдови, привітав Маю Санду з перемогою на виборах та загалом з тим, що курс на реальний суверенітет Молдови витримав випробування. Для всіх держав нашого регіону і реальна безпека, і реальна 
Соціальна справедливість і реальне подолання бідності – все це можливо лише за умови реальної інтеграції до спільного європейського простору. The Ukrainian army is under threat of encirclement in the district of Kurakovo in the Donetsk region, build analyst Julian Ropk reports. Russian troops advance to the Kurakovo reservoir from the northeast and southwest, capturing the village of Maximovka. Due to the lack of reserves and defensive lines, the Ukrainian armed forces may fall into a trap and, probably, will be forced to retreat from 20 populated areas to the southeast of Andrivka, Ropk writes. Irlower he noted that in early October, Russian troops broke through from Mariinka and reached the shores of the Kurakovsko Reservoir, and captured the city of Ukrainsk to the north. According to Ropk, a semi-cauldron with the center in Kurakovka formed between these two directions, which the Russian armed forces have now completely captured. According to him, in two weeks the Russians occupied six villages and 50 square kilometers of territory in this area. Ropk also noted that at the same time the Russian army is approaching the Kurakovka reservoir from the southwest, from near Volodar, where it captured five villages and about 200 square kilometers of territory in two weeks. The front line is currently near the village of Maximovka, 15 kilometers from the reservoir and the city of Kurakovo. In the southeastern direction, the village of Katerinovka, 12 kilometers from Kurakovo, has been taken, summed up Repki. In a report published on November 1st, analysts from the U.S. Institute for the Study of War reported that in the Kurakovo direction, the Russians had advanced to the southwestern administrative borders of the village of Kurakovka, northeast of Kurakovo and had likely captured the settlement. At the same time, ASW noted that Ukrainian forces had recently regained positions in the wooded area southwest of Pobeda and southeast of Kurakovo. According to analysts, the Russians have also advanced near Maximilianivka, Novoselodivka, Maximivka, and Vovchenka in Donetsk region, as well as near Verbov in Zaporizhia region. Russian occupation forces have occupied the village of Stepanovka in the Kramatorsk district of Donetsk region. In addition, tactical advancement of the enemy is observed in the village of Kolesnikovka in the Kharkov region and in the areas of Kremenea Baka in the Donetsk region. Russian forces have also managed to regain their position near Sheptikivka in Kursk region.